Okay, so you have simple import down. Now let me show you advanced import, which is the one right next to simple import with multiple layers showing. When you click on this, you get a little less help. It's a, a little more abstract. Basically, the biggest difference between advanced import and simple import is that you can bring in multiple data sets at the same time. And basically, they can have different, um, be in different folders. Um, so they might even have different projections, etc. And you can bring them all in together. So here, what you have to do is you have to go to add. And basically, you're going to add every data set or every you know, shape file or KML file that you want to add at one time. So I'm going to hit add here. And then you get the simple dialog pop up. So, so this should look familiar. We'll go to browse. And in this case, let's bring in some. Um, let's bring in countries, I guess. Where's countries? Now I have to find this blasted thing. It's the hard part. All right, there we go. Countries. And I can hit OK. I can hit Add, and I can browse again. And I believe with the advanced import, you can actually select if they're in the same folder by holding down the Control key or Command on on. Um, command on the the Mac, you can bring in multiple data sets. So I'm just going to go nuts here. We'll bring in ports, airports, populated places, and then urban areas. And I'm going to hit open. And it can bring them all in and see they're lined up here. And it says, OK, how many features, basically how many objects are in each one. And down here, destination map view, I talk about map views in a moment. But um, generally, we want them all to be together. This is a new empty document, so we'll create a new one based uh, basically uh, a new one, and you can decide which shape file you want it to be based on. So if they all had different projections, it would use that shape file's projection or coordinate system. So in this case, they all have the same. I will hit OK, and voila, all these data sets come in. And if we go to the Layers panel, where are you? There it is. You'll see that we have all of these. Um, these are layers I created earlier, so ignore those. We have a layer for each one of these. We have airports, which are represented with points, populated places, which are represented with point symbols, ports, and we can turn some of these on and off, um, and urban areas. Urban areas are not points. They are actually, um, they are, well, they look like points here, but they are little symbols in the shape of urban areas. But at this scale, they end up being blotches. So this is how you can bring in multiple data sets at once. So why would you ever use simple um, data import? Well, quite simply, uh, again, quite honestly, there is a reason. So I'm going to flip over here. Let's say we have all the countries of the world already in here. And um, I'm going to reproject this data. One second. So uh, sorry, I just took a second to reproject this, which you'll learn in the next lesson. But I don't want to confuse you. So I have this world this world shape file already in. I use simple import. It's projected in the natural earth projection. And I want to add data to this map. And I want it to line up with this map rather than come in in WGS84. This is where um, I was saying before, you bring in your first data set to the full extent. In this case, I'm mapping the world. You project it. And then you can use advanced import to easily add new data sets on top that line up perfectly. And I'll show you how. So we'll hit Add. And we'll browse for some data. Maybe I'll do some physical geography now. So let's see what they have in here. Regions, blah, blah, blah. Lakes, graticules. Let's do some graticules. I want to bring in some graticules that are like that. And what else? Um, not much going on here. Um, why not playas? That's cool. No, how about rivers and lake center lines? Good. So, and a bounding box, which is the outside of the earth. So I'm going to hit open, and this is advanced import. And notice that these are WGS84, so theoretically they shouldn't line up with this at all. But I'm going to hit OK, and before I'm done, here I'm going to click on Use Existing. And that means line it up with the map that's already existing on the page. And if I hit auto scale, it'll scale it to be maximum extent on the page. But I don't want it to change my current countries at all, so I'm not going to hit that. I'm going to hit OK, and voila. So if you bring in 
one layer, project it how you want it, size it how you want it. You can use advanced import to add numerous data sets on top of it, and it'll line up perfectly. So you can basically lay out your page with the first data set, and um, it makes it really easy. So in the next tutorial, I'm actually going to show you how to lay out a page, how to change the projection, etc. So it's getting real, people. See you shortly.